lecture 17 convergence of sequences part 2 in that lecture we discuss the Leibniz test now what is Leibniz test so first you have to know the alternating series so a series whose terms are alternatively positive and negative signs is called alternating series for example we are given a series 1 minus 2 by 3 plus 3 by 4 minus 4 by 5 so in that series the sign are alternating positive negative positive negative and so on so this type of series we say is alternating series now also Leibniz test says if series is alternating suppose u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 and so on then and it follow the condition u n plus 1 th term is less than the nth term u nth term for all n in that case you have to ignore the sign of the nth term or we say each term means we can say if u4 is greater than what u5 u3 is greater than u4 u2 is greater than u3 and this series is what alternating so then the limit n tends to infinity u n we get 0 then we say the series is convergent so what's the Leibniz test first the series should be the con should be the alternating means the sign between the terms are positive negative positive negative and the term conservative terms is such that u n plus 1 is less than the nth term means the nth n plus 1 term is less than nth term and the limit of nth term n tends to infinity is we get 0 so we can say the series is convergent only you have to notice here when we use the term nth term or we take n plus 1 term so we ignore the sign when we write the u n or say nth term now take an example test the convergency of a series we have given series 2 1 upon 2 upon 1 cube minus 3 upon 2 cube plus 3 4 upon 3 cube and so on so we check the convergency of that series so here we notice that in the given series we have first the term of series are alternatively positive and negative okay we have alternative sign in that series the second term second now we check the uh, term of that series so the term are continuously decreasing we can say the terms are continuously decreasing that is we can say 2 is greater than 3 by 2 cube is greater than 4 by 3 cube and so on so we can say the series is what continuously decreasing that is we can say the u n plus 1 term is less than the n term nth term and the third condition now we write the nth term of that series so nth term is what of that series it should be n plus 1 divided by n cube minus 1 key power n so we ignore that plus minus so the nth term is what n plus 1 divided by n cube now check the limit on that un term that is nth term limit n tends to infinity so we check the limit at infinity so limit n tends to infinity n plus 1 n cube so what we get we take n as a common in the numerator and denominator so we write limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 upon n divided by n 
square now apply the limit so we get 1 plus 0 upon infinity and something upon infinity we get 0 now by Leibniz test Leibniz says if the terms are the term of the series are alternatively signed and the terms of the series are continuously decreasing and the limit n tends to infinity of any term we get 0 then we say the given series is convergent take one more example test the convergency of the series that series so you know that series this series what 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 and so on so the sign of that series is what alternative and so we write the given series is first or alternating terms that is positive and negative second the term of series is continuously decreases you can check 1 is greater than 1 by 2 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 4 1 by 4 is greater than 1 by 8 and so on so we can say the term of the series is continuously decreases and the third thing you write the un nth term so you can easily write the nth term it should be minus 1 key power n upon 2 of power n minus 1 so the so the unit un nth term is 1 upon 2 power n minus 2 power n minus 1 now apply the limit on that unit nth term at infinity un limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2 power n minus 1 and we apply the limit so we get 1 upon infinity and 0 so Leibniz test by Leibniz test you say the term of that series is what alternating and the signs are alternating of that series and the term of the series is continuously decreasing and the limit and at infinity the on any term we get zero so we can say the given series is convergent now one more example test the convergency of the series we know we have a series 1 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 4 and so on so as we know the series is what having the alternating sign so the first term the term the given series have alternating sign that is plus and minus positive negative now we write the unit term now we take the first second we take the series is continuously decreasing or increasing so the given series is what 1 is greater than 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 is greater than 1 by root 3 so we can say the given series is what is continuously continuously decreases because 1 is uh, sorry 1 is greater than 1 by root 2 is greater than 1 by root 3 and so on now the third thing we write the nth term so nth term is 1 by root n so apply the limit n tends to infinity means we have to check the behavior of that nth term at infinity so limit n tends to infinity 1 upon root n so we get 0 so all three conditions are fulfilled of the Leibniz test so we can say the given series is what is convergent
Now take one more example, test the convergency of the series. Now we have a series 2, minus 3 by 2, plus 4 by 3, minus 5 by 4 and so on. So here, first we write the nth term of that series. So what's the nth term of the series? n plus 1 by n. Okay, now, now check the terms are alternative in the sign. So we can say condition d term of the series given series is alternatively that is positive and negative now the terms you see that uh, the terms are continuously decreasing the terms are continuously decreasing or decreases that is you can say 2 is greater than 3 by 2 is greater than 4 by 3 and so on means u n is uh, greater than u n plus 1 now the third condition that is we find the limit of the n term that is limit n tends to infinity of u n you find the limit u n n tends to infinity that is that is u n plus 1 upon n so when you find the limit of that so you take the n common in the numerator and apply the limit so you get limit n tends to infinity you can write 1 plus 1 upon n upon 1 denominator and numerator we cancel the n now apply the limit so we get 1 which is not equal to 0 so we can say all three conditions are satisfied, all two conditions are satisfied, but all two, all the three conditions are not satisfied, not satisfied. So we can say the given series is not, not convergent because by the Leibniz series, Leibniz test the first condition term are alternatively second the terms are continuously decreasing but the limit n tends to infinity un is not equal to zero so we can say due to the third condition by the Leibniz test we can say the given series is not convergent okay student in the next lecture we discuss the ratio test and root test